Willie Sneed here for you all. We'll get it started here with Daniel Oafusi. Um, hey, Willie, just uh, can you kind of take us through that last play? You kind of get sandwiched between the two defenders and time expires. Just what was going through your mind? Yeah, I was just uh, trying to make a play, last play, just for the game. And uh, I was just locked in on the ball, tried to attack it. And, uh, you know, it, looked, it just felt like a bang bang play. But, you know, in those situations, you know, you just you just hope for the best, you know, and it, it didn't go our way this time. So, you know, you just got to keep moving forward and learn from it. Jamison Hensley. Willie, do you do you feel you, there was a penalty, a, an obvious penalty on that play? I mean, it could have went either way, to be honest. Um, you know, when I got hit, I mean, it just happened so quick. You know, as soon as the ball touched my hands, you know, I got hit. So it's like, you know, you never know. I didn't know how he hit me, seriously, but, you know, I got hit in the head. So I'll just leave it at that. Childs Walker. Yeah, hey, Willie. Um, can you describe the emotions that kind of rippled through the entire team after Ronnie went down? And, and also, could you just sort of uh, describe the overall mindset coming out of this game, I guess? Yeah, Ronnie is one of those guys in our locker room that everybody looks up to and everybody, you know, has a good relationship with. Um, you know, we were all happy for him this week because he got a huge deal. And uh, I know he was ready to play in this game because of the rivalry and everything that it means. Um, just to see him go down like that, it hurts everybody. And we just wanted to go out there and play, play all out for him. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to just continue to play hard for him because that's what he would have wanted. So it sucks to see that, you know, because he's a great person, a great man, um, and he works hard, you know. So just praying for him and his family right now. And uh, I know he'll come back stronger from this. Mark Viviano. Hey, Willie, uh, you, you're a veteran who you, you've worked with Lamar now for a few years. You see him have a tough game. What is your veteran advice? How do you work with him through, a, you know, tough times, I guess, when you lose to a division rival? Hey, man, we can control what we can control. You know, we just got to keep moving forward. Every mistake that we make, you know, it's a collective group, you know, and we just got to continue to move forward. We was in a position to win the game, the whole game. With everything that happened, we were still in a position to win the game. So, you know, just, you know, the veteran, you know, mindset that we all have is just next play, you know. Worry about the next play. Control what you control. Move forward. Don't let the pass catch up with what we're trying to do right now. So, I think he did a great job lead, leading us down the field. In the end, we just came up short. We'll close it out here with Jeff Sariba. Willie, we've talked a lot each week about the offense and it seems to be the consensus that you guys are really close to, you know, breaking out um, and having a big day. Do you, do you feel like like those mistakes in the first half are the kind of things that are holding you back, whether it's some turnovers or a couple of key penalties? Yeah, those are all controllables, man. Everything that you've seen today was controllables by us. Um, and we just got to build from it. We got to stack. We got to continue to learn and grow. And uh, I think on the back end of this season, like Coach said, this is we we just getting started. You know, we starting to figure out who we are on offense and starting to evolve. And defense has been continues to play lights out. We just got to continue to play complimentary football and um, just eliminate the mistakes like we talking about and uh, move forward. We'll we'll build on this and we'll get better. Hey Willie, appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much.